Hey everybody. It's been so nice today. I thought I might give you guys a tour of my new yard at our new house. Um, we've been doing a lot of work on it and stuff. So, uh, yeah. I'm um, getting some flower beds put in and stuff like that. My new uh, garden flag there. And my gargoyles. I got twin gargoyles. I bought them for my granddaughters because they're twins. Um, yeah. This is my miniature lilac bush. And little fairies everywhere. Um, lavender. Gnome. This is the new bed we just put in. And uh, did it for my wife. It's a uh, memory bed for the people who have passed away in our family. It's not quite finished yet, but we're starting to get the plants and stuff in. Um, yep. Got a really pretty angel. We got a spotlight on her at night. So, I'll do a quick walk around here. Might get a little weird, so sorry about that. Um, uh, it's one side of the uh, walk. Um, part of my front porch, my broom, and my big fairy. Um, I got a statue over there that's new. It's got her. And what's left of all of our spring flowers, they're pretty much done for. They're starting to die off, so that's that. And uh, I walk back around this way. This is the other side of the walk. It's pretty much the same as the first side. Our welcome sign, another little gargoyle. Little um, another little lilac bush. I got a lot of weeds in there and I need to get out of there. More fairies. It's more lavender starting to come back. Um, just put these in. And I got fae everywhere, so <laughs> little fairy and little gnome there. I've got some more I need to put out. Another small lavender bush. Um, here I've got some irises and daylilies that I put in. A little more iris. These are Asiatic lilies. This is a plant called Beard's Tongue. And these are white irises, so they will be when they bloom. Um, <coughs> oh, don't look at that. <laughs> we just took that out. Uh, it was sitting right about there, and it was rotten as heck. So we took it down. We're going to get rid of it and uh, put up something new. So, let's see, back here, I uh, need to see this yard again. We just moved in in October, so it needs a lot of work. Um, this is my herb bed that I've been putting in today, actually, just worked on it today. Dug out all the grass in here and started planting some herbs. Um, this is a yellow yarrow. And these aren't just culinary herbs, I have magical herbs in here too. Um, these three plants here are uh, Echinacea, or purple cum flower. Um, there's another lavender. Um, got some English thyme there, and some sweet basil. That's all I've got planted in here so far, but I've got a lot more to do. See this? This is all the grass and crap that I took out of there today. <laughs> So yeah, been working on that a lot. Um, these giant pile of bricks here. There's like over 900 bricks in this pile, I think, if I remember right when we counted them all up. Um, we took out of this area. It used to be a brick patio, but it was in really bad shape. So we took all the bricks out, and we're going to re-level it, and uh, we're going to put it back in. There's the frame to our patio table too. Um, yeah, there's no room for it in the house right now, so. <laughs> We're just leaving it sit out here. It's outside most of the time anyway. Um, there's a few more plants there that I need to get planted. I've got some bee balm there and some lamb's ear and a little teeny bit of anise hits up down there. Um, got a couple rose bushes here that need to be planted. Ugh, this is our mess. This is all the crap we've been digging up out of the yard. Lots and lots of work when you get a new house, guys. Let me tell ya. Um, got some more plants that still need to go in. Uh, rose bush there. That plant is oregano. Huge chives. They've been growing for like six years straight and they just keep coming back. Um, got some mint in there. Those are day lilies. Um, these are wild onions. Another huge, huge lavender bush. 
then over here I've got some, let's see, more Asiatic lilies here and there and there. That one, that one, and that one. This one here is Lily of the Valley. And these, all these here, are uh, little tiny irises. Um, these actually, these three boxes that you can see here, as soon as we get everything cleared out and we get the dirt put in them, they're going to be our garden for this year. They're all eight feet long by four feet wide and about a foot deep. And uh, that's how we do our garden every year. We just do raised beds. We don't have to dig up the yard that way, and things grow great in it. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> there's a big giant pile of sticks that we've cut out of the yard or cleaned up out of the yard or whatever. Um, I've been digging out a lot of stumps that were planted right up against the house and have been cussing them the whole time. Um, I've dug out a lilac bush out in front of my house the other day, and everybody was saying, you ought to save it, you ought to save it. So I gave in, and I replanted it right here, and it's doing really, really well. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, eventually that'll be a nice little lilac bush, I hope. Um, these are some stones I brought from my other house. They're pretty good size. Here, I don't know if this helps. But if this tells you how big they are. <laughs> um, but I plan on doing something with those. I don't know. I think I might put them out and mark the four quarters or something in a certain place in my yard. I haven't decided yet. Um, this is back behind my garage. Wreath I haven't done anything with yet. I think I'm going to make it into a pinnacle wreath. Um, this is a uh, spearmint. And in that pot, it's not coming up yet, but I've planted some catnip. Um, let's see. This is peppermint. And I've also got two, I don't know if you can see them. Two, one, two. Uh, rosemary plants in there. Um, also got another rose bush here. It looks like it needs watered that I dug out of another spot and uh, put there so I wouldn't kill it. And I feel bad when I rip plants out and don't have anything to do with them. So, teeny little, oop, teeny little lavender bush there. And this area we're planning on putting in a big patio. So I've got all my shade loving plants over here on this side of the house. I've got, uh, let's see, that one is a fern, a Japanese painted fern. That one is a bleeding heart. And then another bleeding heart over here. And those two are lupins. And this is, mm -hmm. can't remember the name of this one right now. But anyway. All these lilies, all day lilies, are probably going to come out, at least some of them, because there's just too many of them in here. And I've got some more plants back there that are just sitting in the shade, a couple more ferns. And, uh, yeah, so, lots of day lilies. I don't even know what color they are yet, but once they come up, I'll see what they look like, and then we'll either take them out or transplant them. Or when I take them out, I always give them away, so that way they don't have to be killed. Um, back to my wife's bed around, we've been around the whole house, so, that's a hosta coming up there. There's Lily of the Valley back there in the corner. And another painted fern there. Some more heart stepping stones. This is either a red or a white rose bush. I can't remember which. I planted it without knowing, so let's hope it's one of the two. The only other two choices are yellow or pink, and my wife didn't want yellow or pink here, so I hope I picked the right one. Um, two little green man babies here. We've had those for a while. They're really cute. And this right here is a butterfly bush. It's a bicolored butterfly bush that my mom actually got for my wife when her brother passed away a few years ago. So that's why it's in the memory garden. Um, we're planning on putting a little bench back there, probably in that area. And then, uh, Maybe a few more plants, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, there's still a lot to do. And, uh, my phone's going off. Hang on. And, uh, so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, a little tour of my yard. That's not my hearse. That's the neighbor's. Although I'd like to have a hearse, but not blue. 
Um, there's some more tulips and stuff up here that have pretty much died off. And uh, this, it was heavy trash day today. This is a set of doors that came out of my son's closet. For some reason they took everything out here except for these. I don't know why. So I gotta move those back around back again. Yay. So, yeah. Tell you what, the neighbor's lilac bush is gorgeous and it smells so wonderful. It's nice to have it right there every morning as I walk out of the door, be able to smell it. Um, okay, well, that's a little tour of my yard. It's still got a lot of work to do, and I'll probably do some more videos over the spring and summer as we get to doing some more stuff with it, and show you the progress. But, uh, yeah, so there's your little tour, and, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, blessed to be.